Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Able Recipe. Happy New Year's, happy 2021, but also not so happy. Um, it looks like we started the year a little. Well, we're still we're still here. You know, we're not. Things have not progressed so much since, uh, you know a week ago when it was 2020 and I think yeah I didn't yeah I think that's expected in a way we can't really um I don't know I wasn't expecting much you know I thought I thought it was going to be the same but uh let's just get right into it so as you can see from the title I'm going to be talking about some particular character she was laid to rest uh, well technically this morning or yesterday morning in the Philippines so and uh, she passed away on New Year's Day she was a she was a, a flight attendant for Philippine Airlines her name was Christine De Serra. so she has been a hot topic for the whole week. Uh, so, Christine De Serra, she, um, as a flight attendant, you know, uh, they have, you know, whenever, they, you know, how can I say this? Sorry, it's been a while since I had a podcast, but, um, Alright, so this is going to be like a true crime kind of episode. I don't know if I even do true crime, but uh, my opinions, uh, because there's a big mix up of why she or how she passed away. And the final, the final, um, uh, what's it called when they, when they had the autopsy, like the report. They said um, she passed away because of an uh, aneurysm, uh, but not the one like in your brain. I guess the one so she had like a goddamn. She scared the shit out of me. What kind of? Let me see what kind of aneurysm is. What's it called? Some people say she was out, she was like, you know, she died by alcohol poison, um, which I don't, I don't think so, to be honest, uh, I don't think she died from alcohol poisoning, um, some people say she was raped, but, I mean, that sounds like dumb, well, just, just because, okay, so, there was 11 people there, 11 guys, and she was the only girl. Uh, the 11 guys were all gay. Yeah. And, um, some of them worked with her for Philippine Airlines. So, like, maybe they didn't see each other all the time, but, uh, they probably, like, you know, they, they work for the same company, which is probably why they're at the same hotel. And they probably just mixed in with another party. Uh, you know, when, you know, when it's New Year's, you're at a party and, you know, two parties just become one. Just that kind of type. So, I, I, I would rule out, like, I would rule out that she was raped, to be honest. I don't think she was raped. And the autopsy, the autopsy said, um, when they checked her, uh, body... Uh, she she wasn't raped. She did have a, a wound on her uh, vagina, but that's not. It wasn't because of the rape. It's because of what happened to her when she passed away. Um, so when you have a, it's a what's it called, aneurysm in your stomach. 
it's called a aor a aortic aneurysm all right so when you have a abdominal aortic aneurysm this is a this is a weird diagnosis for her to have because I think this is like something you you die you know I mean you don't well this is definitely you know aneurysm like Dr. Dre just had aneurysm the other day you know he, he, he you know he seemed to be okay whenever you hear of aneurysm you just yeah that should scare the shit out of me because it's like god damn you got no <laughs> you know you had no like you had no choice in that that was your time like you know like you could have been the healthiest person in the world but god damn you got a fucking hack and there was an aneurysm <laughs> but um yeah so as I'm reading the newspaper here it says um Philippine Airlines flight attendant Christina Angelica Faba de Serra whose death in the hotel room in Makati City has become a cause celebrity oh I get it of died of natural causes she didn't I don't alright so I don't believe she died of natural causes and I'll explain why an autopsy report by Southern Police District Crime Laboratory declared the cause of death is consistent with ruptured aortic uh, aortic aneurysm. Let me see if I I'm gonna see if I uh, pronounce that correctly because I don't wanna be uh, sounding dummy. Aortic aneurysm. I'm not a doctor, so you know you gotta forgive me. And it's it's not like you know we can always learn nothing wrong with learning. Oh, but there ain't no dictionary definition though, because you know the, the dictionary will tell you how to say it. And there is it's a weird spelling. That's why it's A O R. So aortic. I guess it's it's you know it's pronounced how it's how it looks, aortic. Anyway, so I don't think she died of natural causes. Um, I think I think it was, uh, I think it was the that was what ha- I think she had the okay for sure she had a, she had the aneurysm. Let's let's just put that there. She had one for sure, and. I think she probably had one because of her lifestyle as a flight attendant. Like, like flight attendants, they they don't tend to like have uh, a body clock. That's what we, that's what everybody usually calls it. But yeah, like they don't have a body clock because you know when one day they're here, one day they're in the Philippines, one day they're in America. Actually had a. I actually had a flight attendant spend the night at my house one time when uh, when I was younger my my uh, godmother her I think her niece holy shit I wonder if they're re- oh, oh damn I got the no I don't understand they can't be related I don't know this cause this girl was 23 that girl at that time was probably like the same age so I was, I'm tripping anyway but then like yeah uh I think what happened was that, like, you know, like, she was drinking it so much, she probably got too fucked up, she was probably sleepy, you know, she was probably, like, really sleepy, because, you know, she's a flight attendant, like, flight attendants don't, like, you know, like, they have a different kind of, like, um, their bodies are not used to being, like, you know, when, like, they should be sleepy, you know, because... Yeah, the time difference and stuff. And so, like, I think, I think she just drank. She got really sleepy. And she did have, I I mean, she did have a aneurysm, a aortic aneurysm. And so what happened was, um, they said, 
oh my goodness it's, it's sorry it's just kind of dumb because she was alive she just wouldn't wake up right she was she was alive but she couldn't wake up so obviously she's breathing she was breathing and stuff but they tried to the hotel or i don't know i'm not sure who was the one who gave her cpr but whoever gave her cpr is the one i think that killed her and i'm not trying to like condemn anybody and i don't know shit i ain't no doctor but think about it like if you're doing cpr on somebody like you know how you know how I ever did cpr because i i'm i'm certified so you know well i gotta get i probably gotta get into one soon but like you have to like put your body into there like like right between like you know the the stomach like right right where the exactly where the aneurysm was and then you know she he the whoever was giving cpr must have been pressing on her aneurysm and that's probably how she died but she was probably sleep she was probably just slept she was probably just slept at first and then she i think she got i think i think she got killed when they tried to give her cpr which is fucking weird why the fuck you give her cpr for because they said she was breathing it's not like she was like dead like obviously she was she she died she died 12 o'clock of noon the next i mean that it was already you know a.m when they were partying so let's just say she died like probably like a good six i don't know, I don't know maybe a good like 12 hours later or not 12 but like let's say nine eight hours later she died like at the hospital so but so that's why i'm not trying that's why i don't get it but i mean they were fucking drunk so you know when you're drunk you don't know what the fuck is going on like you can't just be like oh i'm a, a doctor who the fuck you know you see somebody not waking up and then well i honestly like i have some friends that like like they would be knocked the fuck out and i would, I would be like hey they want to wake up and i'm like fuck i hope they're not dead and then i went back to sleep i woke up they were gone and i'm like oh well at least they ain't dead but you know that's some shit that's that's some shit right there like but i want to know who the fuck gave this bitch i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry she just i'm sorry this she just passed away forgive me i don't mean it like that if you were filipino i uh i'm gonna cut that out okay who the hell gave this person cpr because i want to know why would you give someone cpr when they're breathing I'm sorry. No, never mind. Like, she, cause she was asleep. Like, like she was. I think she she had too much to drink, or she was just tired, one or the other, or both. And they, why would they get CPR? Oh my goodness. I mean, what su- What sucks is that, is that like she had the aneurysm, but then it was she could have lived like she she this this was totally unavoidable i mean this to- totally avoidable and whoever it was that decided to give her cpr was a fucking idiot you know what i mean like like because that that's what killed her like that's what i believe i believe it because like think about it the aortic aneurysm is right there in the like the middle like of your stomach it's in your stomach so like um it's not a brain aneurysm it's in your stomach so you know when you're giving some cpr you're pressing on your you know you're pressing down and these are fucking gay ass guys like they're buff too and shit they're probably giving her some heavy ass cpr but that fucking killed her ass you know what i mean that's that's what re- i mean it's just she said she died from a ruptured uh aneurysm it didn't say she, her aneurysm was repped with like fucking this popped i mean it, it did but there was some that, i don't know i, I don't uh, like do i want someone to like go down for this of course not but do i want like do i want to give like what i think happened yeah and you know i'm not trying to put and like, i'm not trying to 
put anybody in prison, but I feel bad for the family because like they're talking about like they want justice and she was raped. She was she probably wasn't raped because they're gay guys. They they these guys are totally gay. Like you know like they're gay. Like I'm sorry. Like I can't. I, I you know I mean like they they're gay. They're totally gay. And um. <sighs> I guess uh, uh, like right now I guess there's still some of them are in hiding some of them are suspects just because of not showing their face and just because like you know they've been hiding out there now they're suspects because you know they're scared to come they're scared to go to the police because obviously like you know like you already fuck I mean like I, I would probably be scared too cause it's like fuck like like she's dead already and like, <laughs> you know, it's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, it, like oh, you guys already made me a suspect and shit. It's like, fuck. <laughs> so, but, so there was 11 people there. Like, you know, 11, um, 11 guy, 11 gay, gay guys, straight up gay. No, not that there's anything wrong with that, but they were just gay. And so, just saying, they probably did not rape her. So I like I don't think anybody will be going in for rape. I want to know who gave her CPR. That's what I want to know. If it was one of them, or if it was like the hotel staff, or I don't know who the fuck. And that's what I want to know. I want to know who gave her CPR, and I would say that was the person who killed her. But you know what the fuck do I know? Um. <sighs> That's just that's just sad, man. That's that's fucked up. She was twenty three years old, man. She was a baby. She was a baby, yo. They killed a baby. Twenty three years old. She had a good job too, working for Philippine Airlines. Man, her family must have been proud. And now they're, god damn, this must have been some fucked up shit. I don't know. Whoever gave her CPR is a fucking idiot. Who gave her CPR? That's what I want to know. You don't give someone CPR because they're fucked up, right? Like, you know, if she wasn't breathing, like, obviously, I mean, if someone's out cold, right? Like, and they're still alive, there's still a heart that's beating, right? Like, I like I remember when I when I was getting CPR certified that um the first thing we had to do of course was um uh we I think they said to assess the situation you know assess the situation uh you know move objects if there's anything around right and also like um you also have to use your your discernment like does this person need cpr because you are about to put your lips on this per you're, you're about to put your lips on this person and it might not turn out the way you you know it might come out fucked up when you're in so you might you know you might gotta think about it before you do cpr um uh god damn damn god damn so yeah, usually it's you yell and say call nine one one or call you know call an ambulance, call for help. You tell someone to call for help. Make sure that that person goes to call for help, and then that's when you give the CPR. But before you get the CPR, you of course you assess the situation, and you know you you can you listen to the heart. If it's the heart is beating, is she breathing? If she's breathing, then she's alive. <laughs> you know what I mean like this because they said when they found her she was just out cold like she wasn't you know she she wasn't like you know I guess she must have been this like whole like really fucked up but um I'm not sure like you know I don't know all the information it's just so messed up I, I don't even know if I like if I'm trying to like I like my intentions is just to give my opinion, and uh, I I think 
maybe I do want somebody to be held, held responsible, but I, I just want to know why the fuck. Like, I just want to. I want to know who gave the CPR. That's all I want to know, because there was no need for CPR. And if they gave her CPR, that's what fucking killed her. And the, the, the whoever made this autopsy is an idiot because like, like. Well, maybe they didn't get the context that she got CPR, you know, um, but, like, you know, she didn't, I don't think she died, I don't think she, this, they, like, they put natural causes, I don't think this was a natural cause, what the fuck, and an aortic aneurysm is not a fucking natural thing, you know what I mean, it's not like, I'm sorry, Natural causes is like you dying because you you old as fuck or you're like, you know what I mean like there's there's other cases too but a fucking aortic aneurysm is not one of them that that that's like you know maybe you have one maybe I have one but it's not this doesn't mean that she's gonna fucking pop somebody pop that shit yo <laughs> that's what that's what I think but what the fuck do I know what the fuck do I know. The autopsy report said, anus, no evident signs of injury noted at the time of examination. So, yeah, they checked the asshole, nothing there. What does this mean? That the healed wound in her vagina showed that there was no forced entry at the time of her death. The autopsy report did not mention the presence of semen in her vagina. I wouldn't think so because the guys are gay as hell. Like they're super gay. Like you know, they're you know there's gay. You know, and then they're super gay. These guys are super gay. No offense. But then um. They. Oh man, this. This is so sad. This is one way to freaking start the year off. Goddamn. Okay. Well. Happy New Year's, everybody. What's up? I'm sorry that I had to start the freaking pod- podcast on that note, but. Man. You know, there's a lot of shit that's going on right now. Just a few days ago, uh, I hate to like, you know, kick a dead horse and shit, but everybody knows what happened in the white, I mean, at the Capitol. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, fuck, I hope my podcast doesn't turn into a fucking conspiracy theorist shit. But if it pops off, then shit, let's do it. But I mean, like, you know, that's not, um, that's not what you know what this is basically i'm i'm just changing up the theme guys because it's a new year and you know every year i think i pretty much do the same thing i change it up change it up uh some people come some people go and it's just been like that for like three years 